The Laplace transform table, this time focus on the S domain function. See the other video first. Here's the Laplace transform table. There are the time domain functions and the corresponding S domain functions. Let's visualize 1 over S. But first we have to describe S, which is a complex variable. Compared to time t, which is a real variable and can contain any real number, the complex variable s can contain any complex number. Complex numbers can be described using rectangular components, x and y, or polar components, magnitude and angle. Before we look at 1 over s, Let's examine 1 over x, where x is a real number. As x is large, positive, and getting small, going towards 0, 1 over x gets larger and larger and larger and goes toward positive infinity. When x is negative, large, and going toward 0, then 1 over x goes toward negative infinity. We need a three-dimensional plot when we replace 1 over x with 1 over s. This three-dimensional plot was m produced in MATLAB. This is the real part of s. This is the imaginary part of s. And the vertical axis is the height or magnitude of 1 over s. Later, when you hear that 1 over s has a pole at s equals 0, this three-dimensional three graph provides visualization of that pole. Wolfram Alpha provides other viewpoints of the function 1 over s. Those are contour lines lines of constant elevation. Well, all that may be interesting, but how is the time domain function f of t equals 1, or the unit step function, related to the complex domain function 1 over s? The answer is purely mathematical. The time domain function multiplied by e to the minus st and integrated from negative infinity to positive infinity over time is the s domain function. This is the definition of Laplace transform. This is how all the s domain functions in this table were calculated. This is the definition of inverse Laplace transform. The time domain functions could be calculated from the s domain functions using this formula. Playing with these formulas might be interesting to a math major, but we in engineering only need to use the functions in the table for our purposes. Also remember that all of the time domain functions in this table have been multiplied by the heavy side function at zero. In other words, f of t is 0 prior to t equals 0.